throughout our series, the goal has been the production of a single frame image. With a growing expertise in Pixinsight, it's time to consider stitching multiple frames into a mosaic image. Mosaics are hot, and rightly so. While a wider field can be captured by simply reducing focal length, that results in reduced resolution. Mosaics enable us to maintain our current resolution while acquiring more astronomical real estate. Mosaics should be carefully planned and programs such as software BISCs, the Sky X, provide a mosaic tool to assist us. Be sure that mosaic panels overlap each other by 10 to 20 percent to ensure successful alignment down the road. As with single frame workflow, acquiring one-shot color data is less work than is monochrome. With monochrome cameras, sufficient L, R, G, and B data must be acquired for each panel, as acquisition will likely span several nights. Varying sky conditions, in addition to inherent optical distortion, cause the project to become increasingly difficult as more panels are added. To get our feet wet, we'll build a two-panel, one-shot color example. If you shoot monochrome exclusively, do not skip PI5 through 7. We'll then progress to a four-panel, monochromatic mosaic. While these procedures may be new to you, they involve only two tools, one of which we are already acquainted with. Linear images are not necessary for mosaic construction, but are recommended. That being said, there may be times you'll get superior results using nonlinear ones. Begin linear and see how it goes. I've opened top and bottom OSC panels of IC2118 the Witch Head Nebula. Both panels have been cropped and have clean edges, so the entire frames are usable. This is a must for any mosaic. It's also recommended that background modelization be performed on all panels before construction begins. If significant disparity exists between panels, do what's necessary to render them fairly homogeneous in appearance. In the case of OSC and combined RGB, background neutralization and color calibration should be done, and you may need to consider mild repairs such as SCNR. If, for instance, a panel is significantly noisier than the others for lack of signal, you might also consider reducing its noise to better match the other panels. The ideal solution, of course, is to collect sufficient and, with a little luck, similar signal for all panels. Whether one-shot color or monochrome, Mosaics larger than two panels are a three-step process. In PI8, we'll see that demonstrated. Next up, the witch awaits. <laughs>